Hmm. It doesn't hurt when I push on no, it? No, it doesn't okay, give me good. any pain at all. Okay, good. Because it's pretty wide up there. So this is the thing. Mm -hmm. If I do an excision now, mm -hmm. I, I think it would be bigger because mm -hmm. I can't really tell where it is. It's still swollen or draining underneath there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're willing to wait. I know it's hard for you to get out and get out of work and everything. Yeah. But I, I mean, since it took a long time the last time, I would maybe try to wait that about that same kind of length of time and get it in that window. I mean, it literally was a couple of months. And what concerns me is that this, should it take that long? It, it can because it's closed. So he hasn't touched it at all. My skin's really sensitive, so when we put the, some of the bandages, will irritate uh -huh. yeah. me. Yeah. much of that out as I can. Let's see. And then, but I can feel firmness over here. So there's some swelling going on wider. So I wouldn't be sure I'm kind of getting it all. But other than my touching you, okay. we're going to get rid of this, what, this waterfall abscess. Did you ever hear us talk about it like that? Did you see our videos? Yes. <sighs> What'd you think of that? Was that kind of funny or was it like, oh my gosh, you I can't believe she did that? It was so true. That's it? exactly how it was. It was. All right, good. I'm glad that I'm just checking to make sure my patients don't get insulted. Oh, by no. <laughs> so this caused, it caused your problem. Am I hurting you? No. I think I can see part of it in there. Her husband works in LA, in downtown LA. He has a market there, and he commutes from Redlands. Wow. wow. <laughs> Doesn't make us feel so bad then, you see, when our mm -hmm. commutes. That's sad. And that's a daily for who knows, the rest of his oh life. Oh my God. If I could get him to sell. Oh, he loves it too much? Or is he just, you know, you know he's established he himself, him, right? Yeah, 25 years. Yeah. I'll put some money on that. Wow. That how it used to be like more maybe unsavory characters mm -hmm. more so and now it's like fancy people walking their dogs like Shameless the movie Shame have you seen that oh, part one I love Shameless <laughs> it's who are these people coming in thinking that they run yeah. the show now but you know it is actually um on that show when you get the perspective from them like that they've been living yeah. there the whole life mm -hmm. so you kind of do. See, I feel so I'm sorry, pinching. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see there's stuff stuck under there. It's deep under there. That's why it's pulling on you. But I'm going to put some numbing right there, okay? You can tell it's just cyst contents that we, we know this look. It's like not infection. It's just like it's, it becomes goo. You okay? Yeah. I know I'm pulling on you. I'm just putting the numbing right here. This is numbing. You're doing fantastic. You're so brave without your, without I your. Know. I would even think I could do it. Oh, I'm oh. glad. Oh, you can do it. I know you can. I'm glad we made it. You feel like you could do it. I'm hoping we made, made you feel like that. Yeah. No, definitely. You okay? I told him I know I'm in good hands. Okay. So I I know that I'm just gonna push on you again. Okay. So this is the. This is the stuff she was squeezing out, but it's really kind of like granulation tissue. It's just your own tissue trying to heal itself. You okay? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna push around here a little, try to get this stuff out. It's hard to kind of get out because it sticks to you. It's like, it, I guess it would be kind of like jello almost. Mm -hmm. It doesn't easily, so I'm just gonna push on you and pull on you again. Like if you ever feel like I'm, I'm hurting you, you tell me, because I'm just trying to get this goop off of there as best as I can. Yeah, I'll try to. It's even hard to like pull on it and pull it out. See how it's let me push against see what was under her. It's just burrowed down there. I've had it for so long. Yeah? How long have you had this? I want to say at least fifteen years. But it was small. You know, yeah, it wasn't it until I decided to go on Pinterest and think I could Oh, what did you do? You went on Pinterest well, and they had a, a DIY or something? Yeah, like, because I was like, I'll pipe it there. It's hurting oh, a little bit. I'm sorry. Okay, 
it's my eye. It said to, because it was underneath the skin, right? To do like apple cider vinegar oh. to raise it, mm -hmm. and then that's just where to get it more to the top. surface. Yeah, it never mm -hmm. happened. It just yeah, swelled yours is up. too deep. I have another patient who did an apple cider, and it just like really like it was like an acid. It just burned like a top through the top of it, kind of oh. thing. Oh. So yeah, that I don't think. I think what that's what we're trying that people are trying to use apple cider for mm -hmm. what maybe someone has found it to work is because they're using it to kind of just get to it, you know, yeah. like it's under the surface of the skin. So I'm just gonna pull on you because I'm just trying to get rid of that jello there. I'll call it jello now. Many people are gonna say that's no kind of jello I wanna have. Right. <laughs> Can you girls see how it's like hard to get that? I'm just trying to release it with the curette, I guess. It's very hard to get it to unstick. But we're doing a good job cleaning it out. I think we're gonna be okay cleaning this out. Thank you for being so tolerant of us and being so brave. Just trying to clean it as best we can here. I'm treating myself with a trip to the gap. Oh, oh, <laughs> very good. What are you gonna get? Do you already know what you want? I don't know. I'm like, I'm just gonna go wander and see what they have. Oh, good for you. Where are you gonna go? Like local here? I'm like Victoria go, Gardens yeah, or something? Go, yeah. I think was it raining yeah, out there today? It's, it's, it's not, right? It was overcast this morning. I, I haven't been outside, so I don't even know. It still looks overcast. It does? Well, that's nice. It's cool. I don't like it when it's super hot there. That's really hot over there? Okay, sorry about that. Oh gosh, I'm almost there. Here and then we'll close it up and we'll hope that it doesn't come back. This tree must open here a little bit, maybe make us be able to see it better. And A little cyst right up here. See that? Look at that. There's some cyst right here. You okay? What time does your husband open his store? Um, like between 9.30 and 10. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, no, it's just, it's... That's good that he doesn't have to go... The traffic would just be... Yeah, so the traffic is not so bad if he goes out a little bit. Like, yeah. he leaves, like, a little later. Mm -hmm. That's good. Look, this is still cyst right here. See that? You all right, huh? Yes. Okay. Let me see. It's right there. Yeah, you still, that round part that's hard, mm -hmm. it's like part of the cyst got angry and stuff, part of it. Can you like give me a little reverse direction? Look at that cyst. He's still in there. I feel like he's like a little bear, like coming, like not wanting to come out. go. He's a cute one. <laughs> I think we kind of got them all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? That's that 
good. That was on, yeah. He was hiding under there. Look, can you can you even pan up this angle right down here? See how this this open like space here? That was an open space right under here. He was tucked mm -hmm. right in, and now it's flat. That area that was bumped, it's flat. Really? Yay! Wow. That was good. You'll see that there. That's a good one. This one ended up being a quite a nice little video. It really showed how part of it broke down. See that one side is all was all broken down, and then this other side. It was just still a assist, like it gave off a little corner to like get inflamed. Oh. Just checking it all around to see, make just doing my double check to make sure there's nothing. You don't see anything under there, do you, right here? Mm -hmm. I don't know. You see a little debris, maybe? It's hurting a little bit. Right here, it's hurting. Right here, pressing okay. now. Good. I was just double checking to make sure whether just pushing it with a Q-tip mm -hmm. just to make sure that um, all the cyst looks like it's gone. It does though. Okay, good. Just spinning it up one more time. Okay, I think we're gonna fix that up then. All right, famous last look, girls. Fashion designer, I feel like sometimes I'm like doing that last look before I send you out on the runway. <laughs> a lot of, we got rid of a lot of that mush and that's okay because we don't have to get rid of all of it because it's well we got rid of pretty much all of it. You can't see actually anything else going on. Okay. Alright, that was satisfying actually. I think Christy got satisfied. She got to do a little pop. Yeah. <laughs> jealous. Everybody's jealous in here. Kind of gave way, huh? When you mm -hmm. did that. Thank you. So now we're going to put a little stitch here mm -hmm. to close this up. It was really under there. It was, yeah. it was kind of under your whole layer of skin. Mm -hmm. And we all have thick layer, thick skin on our back already, but yeah. that was like way under there. It's a facial suture thing. It's going to not make it very easy for me. Tap that top again. Good. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> what? Just weird. Just, yeah. Yeah. The feeling. It. You're just pulling it a little. Just yeah. kind of fixing, it, closing it, so that's good. Yeah. So you won't have it anymore. But you're pretty. We're we're pretty much done. We're just fixing it up. How many kids do you have again? Three. And they're boys. Uh, our oldest is a boy. He's 27. Uh huh. And then our daughter's 21, and then our youngest is oh. 16. Did your daughter also work at the at the store? Or no, because it was uh, not safe. They're safe. Yeah, got it. Very much. You're the worry ward of family, aren't oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> Self admitted. My daughter called me just before I came in. She was sounding a little bit nervous before you left. I want to make sure you're okay. Oh, she loves you. I'm sure you're gonna get a call from all of them after this. Yeah. Sure. We pulled most of it together, and so I don't think you should feel too much of that pulling anymore. So these top stitches we're going to leave in for 10 days. Okay. 
if you want. I think your husband could probably take them out to save you a trip. Mm-hmm. But if you're uh, around here, you, uh, what I would tell you is like, why don't you make the appointment? But if you're doing fine, yeah, then you can cancel it. Okay. Almost done. Like we've got like two more minutes left. Well, at least I do. You might have a couple more minutes. tutorial right here okay for my video here mm-hmm. so when you have a stitch here a top stitch and you want to sometimes these stitches they will loosen and they won't stay as snug as you want them to there's a trick to it once you do a suture you pull one to the side and it locks it keeps it in that position so that when you let go it doesn't you know just um, unravel keeps it so that it won't um, this, you won't have to do the stitch over again because it's too loose. Again, I'm going to go across and then across. You're going to pull it together, pull one side kind of quick. Kind of locks it into place. Here we go. Okay, that doesn't let me see what that measurement is. Good. She has some induration or swelling there, so that's why it's a little bit puffy on the edges. It uh, looks pretty good. That's like a three point. So I'm going to bring that to the front so I'm going to show it to her. Are you okay? Can you all see it? Oh, no, 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 no,